Hi, it's Yoti Carlson here, and Arrow Video is at it again, giving a 90s cult classic the 4K treatment at long last. The movie I'm talking about, which they previously released on Blu-ray, is uh, Waterworld, starring Kevin Costner. I'm going to unbox this release, share my opinions, and let you know what I think. I did review Arrow's Blu-ray of this a few years back, so a lot of this stuff might look familiar to you. And I do want to point out, only the theatrical cut of the movie is presented in 4K. The other discs remain Blu-ray, so just throwing that out there now. Okay, so, nice close-up shot. Basically the same art from the earlier release on Blu-ray. Spine text. Contents of the box. Backing card. Bottom of the backing card. Under the backing card, we've got that uh, artwork. And then the bottom's just blank. We have... Uh, a poster included, which is very nice. I always like when Arrow includes these posters. On this side, you have something more like the original 1995 poster. Art. And on this side, you have the art that was put together by Arrow for their releases of the film. Now, as with these you know, bigger box releases from Arrow, we do get a nice book as well. Got some great photos and essays in here. Even some shots of storyboards. Even talking about uh, some of the toys and video games. Interesting piece of trivia. The Waterworld game for the Nintendo Virtual Boy was the only licensed game ever released for that system. And there were even some comic books continuing the story of the film. Again, I'm not going to go through every single page in here, but you get the idea. There's reversible art on our actual case here. I went ahead and reversed that, so you got the alternate art with Kevin Costner's character there. Inside the package here, we have an ad for Arrow's streaming service, and we have an ad for uh, something called Running Out of Time on the back. I have no idea what that is, but this art certainly intrigues me, so I might be looking into that. We also have some uh, art cards from the film. They all have this on the back. Okay, and then I'll just show these off one by one. And then inside the package we have Again, we get a 4K Ultra High Def Disc of the theatrical cut of the movie. And then we have a Blu-ray disc of the edited for TV cut that actually added in several deleted scenes. And we have another Blu-ray, which is the Ulysses cut. Essentially, the extended edited for TV of the movie that adds in all the uh, uncut PG-13 footage from the theatrical version. And I'll read the description of the movie from the package. Beyond the horizon lies the secret to a new beginning. The most expensive film ever made at its time of release, Waterworld has thrilled audiences through the years with its awe-inspiring action sequences, gargantuan maritime sets, and groundbreaking special effects. A definitive post-apocalypse blockbuster, Waterworld stars Kevin Costner as the Mariner, a mutant trader adrift in a dystopian future where Earth is submerged under water and humankind struggles to survive on boats and in ramshackle floating cities. The Mariner becomes embroiled with the Smokers, a gang of pirates who, led by villainous leader Deacon, are seeking Enola, a girl with a map to the mythical realm of Dryland tattooed on her back. Famous for both its epic scale and the controversy that swirled around its production, Waterworld is a key cult film of the 1990s, an essential entry into the subgenre of ecologically minded blockbusters. Presented here in an exclusive new restoration of the theatrical cut in 4K Ultra High Def alongside Blu-ray presentations of the TV and Ulysses cuts, and featuring a wealth of extra material, this high water mark of high concept Hollywood can now be enjoyed as never before. Is there anybody out there who doesn't know the story behind Waterworld? It was an absolute disaster behind the scenes when this movie was being made. Everything that could go wrong did go wrong. It went massively over budget. At the time, it was the most expensive movie ever made, and it got very mixed reviews from critics. Unfortunately, I think the controversy and the negative press kind of overshadows the film itself. The movie itself is actually very entertaining and enjoyable, and it's worth it to just you know go back, turn off your brain for two hours, and have a good time. This is not art house cinema. It's essentially Mad Max on the high seas, but is that really a bad thing? 
Kevin Costner is great as the lone wolf character in the film known simply as the Mariner, who ends up forming sort of a surrogate family with Gene Triplehorn, who portrays Helen, and the young girl Enola, portrayed by Tina Majorino, trying to reach dry land while being pursued by the Smokers. The Smoker leader, of course, is the Deacon is portrayed by Dennis Hopper in a great role, who, and he just chews up the scenery in every single scene he's in. One of the subordinates that works for him is actually a young and then unknown Jack Black, meaning this movie actually has both actors who have portrayed Bowser, King of the Koopas, in feature films. Interesting piece of trivia for you there. The set design is absolutely phenomenal, and it does a great job painting a picture of this just dystopian, flooded world. Some of the special effects are obviously dated by today's standards, nearly 30 years later, but love it or hate it, Waterworld is a movie that will certainly make an impression on you. There's even a pretty solid supporting cast of you know, secondary and tertiary characters as well, including Michael Jeter portraying the character of Gregor, something of an inventor. Jeter, of course, would also appear with Kevin Costner in the film Open Range, which Costner directed, and sadly Jeter passed away prior to that movie's release. So Waterworld, even if it's not exactly a critic's darling or art house cinema, it's just a good old-fashioned time at the movies. It's a big-budget B-movie, and it's a lot of fun to enjoy, despite its shortcomings. I am happy to say that this 4K disc of the movie actually looks very good. We get vibrant colors, a nice touch of HDR, pretty much the expected upgrade that you'd probably expect to find for a movie like this. And it looks very good overall. The film had previously been released in 4K by Universal, who actually put out their own 4K steelbook package. Unfortunately, I no longer own that release, so I can't do a direct comparison. Although I did do some comments on that in my earlier Waterworld review that covered both that release and the Arrow Blu-ray release. Bonus features are plentiful, nothing new since the days of Blu-ray, but we get a very long making of featurette, a few lesser featurettes, some old you know, trailers and TV spots and things like that. Those all appear on the 4K disc that also houses the uh, theatrical cut of the film in 4K. And then, like I said, we get the two other cuts of the movie as well. I prefer the shorter, tighter, theatrical cut of the movie overall, but and while it would have been nice to have the Ulysses cut in 4K, I can't complain too much because this is a pretty solid package overall. I also want to point out that there is no 1080p release of the theatrical cut in this. It's only available in 4K, so just something to keep in mind. Waterworld is a fantastic 90s film, and while it certainly was subject to its share of ridicule for everything that went wrong behind the scenes, the movie itself is not half bad, and I can highly recommend this package from Arrow Video. What are your thoughts on Waterworld? Do you think it's the disaster critics made it out to be? Do you think it's one of Kevin Costner's best movies? Comment down below and let me know what you think. Also, remember to subscribe to this channel for more content because I'm always posting new videos, and make sure you give this one a like if you found it helpful. I'm Taylor T. Carlson. I'll see you next time.